people, welcome to my uh, third and final video, video on generating sound. Uh, what we're going to do today is learn how to create square waves and white noise. So let's go So let's go ahead and go into our sound our workspace. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify our sound.h file and we're going to add some new functions to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create short and we're going to do let's do a square wave first. And it'll take the same the same inputs as our sine wave does. So it'll be a double with the time, double with the frequency, and double amplitude. And we're gonna have we're also gonna have a result. We're going to have ticks per cycle, which will be forty four thousand one hundred divided by the frequency. ticks per cycle. Let's also create the cycle part, which is um, the time converted to an int modded by the ticks per cycle. Then we need a half cycle, which is ticks per cycle divided by two. And then we'll create the amplitude, short amplitude, which will be 32,767 multiplied by the amplitude that we're given. Now, uh, the reason that we do this is because we have, um, we need to, a uh, square wave, if you remember a square wave, looks like this. So, half the time it needs to be at full value and half the time it'll, it needs to be at negative value if we're going to have our zero line across the center of it. So, actually let's bring this back. fill it in okay so let's go back to our program so that's the reason why we have a high uh, that's why we create the cycle and a half cycle so that way we can turn uh, the thing on and off per half cycle so let's let's do that if the cycle part is less than a half cycle then we will, our result will be the amplitude. Otherwise, we will return the result. Oh, and what we'll do is we'll set our result, since it's 16 bit, the lowest value is zero, so we'll set our result at zero. And that's our square wave. So let's go and test it out. Vim main and let's copy this. And paste. And what we'll do is this will be a square wave. Now let's test that out. Let's do, let's make our program. We now have an executable. Let's run our sound. And that was our square wave. So now uh, we know how to create a square wave. Let's look at generating noise. So to 
to do that, we'll open, whoops, that's our executable, our sound.h file. Let's go down near the bottom and create a noise function. And the noise function will just have the double of the amplitude, the maximum amplitude that we're going to have. Create a result which will equal zero. And for noise, what we'll do is we'll just we'll generate random numbers, and uh, the random numbers will be between zero and the maximum uh, value, positive value of a short. So let's do that. Let's create amplitude. Uh, 32, 767 multiplied by the amplitude that we're given. And then our result will be a random, random number multiplied by, uh, actually, random number modded by the amplitude. And then we'll return our result. And that's it for creating white noise. So let's check it out. Let's try it. Let's open our main file. We will go down here and let's see. Let's go ahead and comment this out. And we'll create a new samples.push back sound noise and our maximum sound value will be 0 0.9 and that's it so let's try that out let's do a make and now we should have white noise let's try that and now we've generated white noise and that's pretty much it for this video uh, what I encourage you to try is uh, see if you can come up with your own shapes and uh, see if you can generate these shapes. So for example, there is uh, a type of wave called a sawtooth wave, whoops, sawtooth, which goes up in a ramp and, and uh, moves down. There's also triangle waves, which are exactly what you would expect, they're a triangle. Uh, the sawtooth wave is kind of a slanted triangle wave. So I would, uh, as an exercise, see if you can build those sounds and see what they, see what they uh, compare to each other, see what they sound like. Well, thanks for watching, people. Till next time.